What is up guys, it's a roadie out here, welcome to our Pokemon Victory Fire Nuzlocke Challenge, episode 13 I believe, hopefully lucky episode 13, and in the last episode, we ended up taking on, I think it's the third gym, I could be wrong with that, no, it was the third gym, ooh, look at those badges, nice, but we ended up taking on the third gym, the dark type gym, and ended up walking away with our heads held tight and a third badge, so, if you're looking forward to this episode, make sure you smash the like button down below as does support the channel and the series. We go for 10 likes every episode, so let's see if we can do it. Now, um, I haven't done any grinding. I didn't grind anyone up because I, I was thinking about it after the episode. And I go, 36 seems to be a good enough level. But we have Kyrie the Spiritomb over here, level 36 with Shadow Ball, Fan Attack, Hypnosis, and Dream Eater. Oracle the Clefairy, level 36 with Secret Power, Metronome, Cosmic Power, and Minimize. We really, really need a Moonstone for this guy. Then we have Goldo the Swoobat level 36 with Air Cutter, Confusion, Attract, and Calm Mind. Nala the Meganium level 36 with Razor Leaf, Body Slam, Poison Powder, and Reflect. Raylene the Luxray level 37 with Spark, Bite, Charge, and Roar. Wait, ch yeah, Charge and Roar. Why well, don't think I stuffed that up? And last but not least, Sag is a Scraggy level 38 with Fain Attack, High Jump Kick, Focus Energy, and Thief. He's so close to becoming a um, Scrafty, or a Scrafty, however you want to pronounce it. But... We stopped the last episode right over here because stuff was going down. I was yelling Timber. So, I don't know what's going on here, but... Ha ha, a kid perfect. I'm Liam, the leader of the Threat 4. We are stealing Pokemon for an organization. All members, take them down. Familiar voice. Oh wait, is this Uranium because they're Marowak? Marowak, punch those devils. Oh, the bone actually went. That's awesome. I've, I'm seeking you for a long time, Threat 4. It's time for me to revenge. I'll wait for you to stay a long time. Now, here's where it ends for you. What? Have, have I ever seen you? Fine, I don't care. Everybody who attempts to stop us will be finished by us. All members, let's cut them off. Yes, sir. You think you can deal with that art key, so I'll take you down by myself. If we can, Oh, wait. No, this is the leader. <laughs> it's not too late to give in now. Okay. D, uh, XDX. Um... That you look like a reskinned park ranger, Toxicroak, um, Swoobat would be the absolute best thing to go into, just because both of our stabs are super effective against it, and that's what you really want in, um, in, I guess you could say, a Pokemon matchup. Astonish, that is super effective, but, oh, that did a lot of damage, actually, but either way, why do we outspeed? I didn't know. I didn't know Goldo was that fast. I thought he was actually quite slow considering. But that's four times effective. Toxic Croak is down. He's not surviving that. Um, Cofagrigus. Well, we can go into Sagas and go for the faint attack. I know I could have gone into Kyrie, but he's so close to level 39. And Sagas has been with us. I think it was like the first Pokemon we actually caught. Or like second Pokemon. Something like that that we actually caught. Um... You have Intimidate. Well, it makes sense, because I guess you should have had Mummy, but Mummy's not in this gen. So hopefully this does at least a two-hit kill. No, with the Intimidate, it's not going to. Will-O-Wisp. That is the cue for me to get the hell out of here. Because Saga's being burnt is not a good thing. We are not guts. Um, let's go into Kyrie, because Kyrie does have the super effective um, fan attack. And it does have Shadow Ball as well. I might as well go for Shadow Ball. Wait, Nightshade. That's neutral damage. Um, we should be fine. I don't know if we'll outspeed. It's Battle of the Slows here. We do outspeed. Oh my goodness. We're a goddamn Spiritomb. We're literally stuck in a rock and we outspeed. Oh well. Kyrie doing the work. And one more Pokemon is a Shellgon. That's a Dragon type. Um... I guess we can go into Nala, go for the Reflect, and then go for a Poison Powder, and then start body slamming it. Since it is the last Pokemon on the team, I kind of want to put it on a timer and just start taking it out. So let's go for a Reflect since Shelgon, they might have decent special attack. I'm not sure. I know Salamence does, but oh, just crits. I don't know how that will work, but you know what? Let's go for a Body Slam, see how much that does. Because I know Shelgon's are kind of defensive. Yeah. Ooh, and the the Ember. Ooh, the big, the big bad Ember. Let's go for a Poison Powder. Just so we can put him on a timer. And then I guess next turn we'll switch out into Raylene. Actually, no, but you resist it. I don't know. 
Um, that was a crit. Really. I mean, I know we got the reflect, but really. I guess we'll just stay in and keep going for body slam since eventually it's going to take out Shogun. I think next turn it's going to take out Shogun, actually. Thank goodness that wasn't a crit. I mean, it wouldn't have done much, but hopefully Shogun doesn't get healed up. Good. Nala takes him down. That is the end of the Evil 4, I think they were called. I don't know. That was so lackluster that I didn't even really pay attention. But Threat 4. Okay. Done it. I messed the quest. You messed the quest. Did I read that right? Um, You silly kid. We Threat 4 will never give up hurting you. Hunting you. <laughs> we'll meet soon. They escaped again. But I think things are not as easy as I thought. Have you noticed that Liam is a boss? That means he just works for a big group. Is it Team Mirage? I think there's so many puzzles anyway. Would you mind me asking for a battle? You don't cr Do you heal me? Do you heal me? If you heal me, I have absolutely no problem. If you don't heal me, I have a lot of problem. Um, Kyrie, Are we healed? I wonder. Oh, we're healed. Okay, okay. That's fine. Um, do not have a fire type. Do not have a ground type move. Uh, the best bet is probably the resisted feint attack. But no, your defenses are a lot higher. Shadow Ball. I know that's neutral, but it should do quite a bit considering. Oh! <laughs> Spirit Doom, I so underestimated you. Oh my goodness. Trying to learn Torment. Not really, but you know what? Good good effort, but thanks for that, but no real thank you. Raiolu. Um, I actually think Kyrie is our best bet here. Just because of the, um, like being a fighting type. And us, you know, oh. I, actually, I don't think he'll be able to hit us, really. For one, it's a Raiolu, so it won't do much damage. But that is going to be a Lucario in the future. I would love a Lucario. Oh my goodness. Not very effective, I forget. But either way, Rock Slide. Oh, you can hit us. Oh, that's plus two. Oh. Okay. Whoo, that was kind of scary because whenever... It could be a Hapini or a Blissey setting up a Swords Dance. And I will literally just get so scared because Swords Dance is such a scary move. Electric. Um, guess we'll go into Sagas. Because Nala went... Actually, Nala with Body Slam probably would have, would have been the best bet. But, oh well, um, I know that you have Levitate and your Sprite is a bit cut off down the bottom. The Intimidate, I know you can be a mixed attacker and you're primarily, I think, physical. I do you want a high jump kick? Let's high jump kick. Oh, in the face, Electric. In the eel face. Thunder Wave. Okay, well, um, I guess we'll just keep, we'll go for, um, Faint, Faint Attack, Faint Attack, and hopefully not get paralyzed, and hopefully it's enough firepower to actually take it out. Sagas has always been a powerhouse, but as the um the levels have kind of gotten up, it's kind of lost a bit of its, like, attackness. I, I don't know what it means, like, it's physical brute strength. But, um, when it evolves in one level, it's going to be an absolute monster. Scrafty, fun fact, or Scrafty, I don't know how you pronounce, you're supposed to pronounce that. Um, oh, look at the animation. God damn, calm down. Um... Fun fact though, I've never actually used a Scrafty, 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 Scrafty in my whole life. So this is actually the first time I'll ever get a chance to use it. Um, if you have Bone Meringue, that's scary. I probably should have set up a Reflect in hindsight, but hindsight's a beautiful thing and it's not always right. So there we go, Marowak is down. Min max damage is a thing after all. Uranium was beaten. You were still powerful, wonderful. You really were to be my rival. Did I... Yeah, I mean, I'll take it as a compliment, I guess, but... You know, I don't like speaking to my so I'm going to leave now. Okay, do you heal me? There's no one in here. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back, unless he actually healed my Pokemon. Nope. I'm gonna go back to town, just do a quick one run up and down, and... Oh, my hand is tickling. I don't even know why. It's like, usually when I play Pokemon... Uh, I use a keyboard, I don't use a, um, controller. And I don't know why, like, this vein in my hand, whenever I'm going left and right now, it's, like, jiggling between my, like, I guess you could say, my, uh, what's it called? It's the metacarpals. If you guys did, um, Phys Ed or Bio or anything like that, it's, like, jiggling between there, and it's, I don't know, it's kind of ticklish. I gotta, 
Ah, I've got to rub it out of my hand. Um, either way, let's continue onwards. We have Kyrie level 37 now, so she can take a back seat. Let's lead off with Goldo, because Goldo has been in the team for quite a while. Um, Ace Trainer. I'm cool. How cool am I? My Pokemon will answer you. Uh, hopefully you won't. Croconaw. You can get Ice Fang. So, actually, well, Nala is quite bulky, so even if you did, it wouldn't really matter. Razor Leaf. Boom. It's a two-hit kill. If only we had Giga Drain. Oh, I really should have stuck with my gut, like, um... Like I was thinking with Grovile. Either way, cool trainer. Let's get these Oran Berries in the bag. Let's pick up these Leper Berries. Chuck them in the bag. Right, these berries, like, spoil. I don't know, but... I guess we can give some Oran Berries, like, in the gym. Even though they do, like, absolutely nothing. This guy comes from exercise. Good on him. I mean, I, if I was running... I usually run around like a certain route. I don't like um, run back and forth in the same spot. I feel like that's a bit counterproductive because like you use a lot of energy on the turns and yada yada. How fantastic! I almost said fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, guess we'll talk to old man here. You know the expert S guy's a famous gentleman in the Tyron region. Uh, okay, that's kind of cool. I don't really know why I need to know that, but thank you, I guess, for the nugget of knowledge. Do you battle? No. Okay. Ooh, wait. Let's see if we can do something. This is a double battle. Um, we'll lead off with Nala. Because Nala can set up Reflex. And Goldo. I feel like that'd be the best thing, because double battle's coming. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, do I even really need to? Do I even really need to set up, like, Reflex because it's a Krogunk and a Baneri? Like, it's not even a low punny. I mean, I don't know what level it becomes a low punny. But, um... Yeah. I don't know. That I was... My whole plan of setting up Reflex and everything... Just down the drain. Oracle... <sighs> Oracle's so weak, but it gets Meteor Mash really soon. I don't know. When we get a new typing to add to the team, Oracle is going to be the first one to be replaced. I think I see Pure there. I could be wrong. These names are really confusing for me. Let's go into Kyrie. Because Psychic and Quick Attack, apparently, don't really do much. Sand Attack doesn't really matter to us because one hit kill. Kyrie, calm down. Calm the hell down, Kyrie. Um, is this still the same area? It's Water Wave Path. So, there's a battle. I guess I'll talk to these guys. Afterward, it looks like Faulkner from behind, but they do look important. So let's go for a Sonic, not a Sonic Boom, a Secret Power. Um, it's funny. I thought I would have got paralyzed, but Elector. Let's go for a Metronome. Actually, let's see what a Metronome gives us. Let's see what it gives us. Metronome, wave that finger like you just don't care. Being all sassy, lovely kiss. We actually land it, and it's asleep. Okay, so let's set up some minimizers. I want to, like, see how well we can use Oracle. Um, oh, Swift never misses, so that's useful. Um, let's go for another metronome. Um, the physical special split means that Tail Glow. Oh! Oh, well, luckily, I... Okay, so that just cancels out. That just cancels out. Metal Sound. Are we going to... Just kill him, please. Crunch. Okay, yeah, this is going to take forever. Let's just switch out into, um... It's an electric type, so let's go into Kyrie. Kyrie just seems to be our best all-around Pokemon since it just doesn't have any weaknesses. And in a game like Victory Fire, where it's extremely hard... Actually, why don't I go for the... I know we had the, um... The... What's it called? The Special Attacking Reflect Up. I keep forgetting that. I don't know why. From Volcano Town. Um, well, is it near here? Because I really would like to heal soon. Mm, guessing not. Have you seen the ship there? It uh, crashed. Well, someone should really help them. You're a fighting type guy, just training here. You know you could train by battling me, but... These, this, I don't know. Those are water patches you can surf on. But they try to make it seem like puddles. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, cut would have been useful to go into that hole? I don't know what that is. But I feel like it's important. Oh, we just looped. Yeah, it is important. So, what, um, do I need to use potions? I'm going to use, I'm just going to put Oracle in the back seat. It's 
book Kyrie at the front and let's talk to these guys up ahead. Eva. Eva, what's your wish? I just want to go back home. We should take time guard and suffer this. What are you? The kid who saved us in the forest chamber. Oh, these two people. I remember that. Your name is Nick, right? So you heard our conversation. In fact, we live in something something. But one day some people with black lasers defeated us. And they caught us and took us to the region. But after that, the leaders of Team Mirage finished off those people. And they put the leaders of them in the chamber. And the final Team Mirage is Celebi. <gasps> Thank you for your help. Um, we broke free from the Celebi and it was unharmed. Oh, that's really a sad story, but I didn't even know anything about you before you tell me these things. Sai, I think we should never go back home. Nick, can you battle us? Help us overcome our sadness. Um, not gonna lie, I kind of read that really fast, so I don't really know what's going on with these people. But, we have, um, Luke and Eva. Eva looks like a cheerleader, Luke looks like a disco stew. And, um, ooh, that Jolteon is scary. Um, let's go for a Shadow Ball on the Jolteon. And let's switch out, I guess, into Rayleigh. Actually, Nala's probably a lot bulkier, but Rayleigh has the Intimidate. And that kind of would help if there's a physical Jolteon for some reason. So, Sand Attack. Oh, Kyrie, please don't miss. Oh, no, don't you miss. Let me see what you're working with. Hey! Okay, Jolteon. Probably not going to get... Oh, oh. Um, sorry if that... If something happened there. I just want to check if... If everything's working fine. Everything seems to be working fine. Um, I hit my Windows thing, and I'm using Windows 8, so... You can have Volt Absorb, so that's why I'm going to bite you. Really, that's your strategy. Just to do that. Wow. What an annoying strategy. What an annoying strategy. What an annoying strategy. Please just take out this Jolteon. Okay, thank you. And wait, Togetic is normal type, so it's not going to do anything. Unless it hits... You have the Celebi?! Well, <laughs> oh, I'm about to say, if Celebi died, it's like the legendary Celebi <laughs> dies to a rock. <laughs> Alright, well, Kyrie, um, I feel like it's time since you just got wished for you to come back to go out. Goldo, and I guess we'll just bite Celebi, and hopefully it does connect. It does connect. Celebi is down for the count. One, two, three. Three, not getting out. WWE Championship is mine. What am I talking about? I don't know. Um, now, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure there is only one Celebi. Uh, I could be wrong, but why do you have two Celebis? Why? Okay, well, Air Cutter is doing absolute jack. Because I didn't mean to... Oh, because the follow me, that's right. Ah, well, Crew Kit, you're dead. But, um, fun fact, if you use a move that hits multiple targets, its base uh, damage is actually decreased by 25%. I'm pretty sure it's 25%. Um, but it is actually decreased. So, fun fact for you right there. Let's switch out Goldo back into Kyrie, because if the, um, the future site hits us, then, for one, we're immune because we're a dark type, and two... Uh, we can just kill it next turn with a Shadow Ball if this Bite doesn't do the job, which it won't because it's Bite. Ancient Power. Thank goodness I switched. Um, I didn't realize that he was going to go for Ancient Power, but that could have ended terribly because it is a base 100 special attack mod using an Ancient Power on a Goldo. Or a Swoobat, but either way, we beat... Eva and Rick? I, I don't know. Luke and Eva. Okay, I just I don't know why I said Rick, but... How are you feeling, Eva? I feel better now. Just so beating you up makes you feel better. Alright, no worries, but... Thank you, Niv. You rebuild our hope as a prize. He wiped down HMO 6. Is that Surf? Is that Surf? Is it, please? Rock. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Stardust found. A found of magic. Um... Something tells me we're going to need Rock Smash. So can anyone here learn Rock Smash? I don't want to teach anyone Rock Smash, but I guess if anyone had to learn it, it'd probably be Nala. Um, and get rid of, like, ref but Reflects come in handy. So, oh well, we'll worry about it when we get to there. We're going to have to teach someone Cut, actually. And that is going to be Nala, because Nala is the only one that can really learn it that has just a wasted move. Um... I'm thinking getting rid of Poison Powder, 
since it isn't toxic. And because it isn't toxic, it's not going to be as useful as one would think. And Reflect actually is coming in handy, surprisingly. So, can you go down? Oh, no, no. Down there is what... Ooh, Apom! If there was Ambipom in this game, I would so use it. Because Ambipom, fun fact, is one of my favorite Pokemon out there. Ninkata, on the other hand, is not. So, sorry, Ninkata, but let's go up here. I didn't even need Cut. Are you serious? I didn't even need to teach him Cut. Look. What's the point? Oh my god. Welp. That's something. Uh, do I just... Okay. Stardust Fountain. This looks like Wisma Cave and there's a new encounter here, so what is it going to be? Geodude, you're getting on the team, mate. Oh my goodness. Hypnosis, stay in the Pokeball, Geodude. I'm going to use this thing, get rid of Oracle, train him up in between episodes. This is going to be amazing. I've always wanted to actually use a Golem, and I've never gotten the chance. At least I assume that trade evolutions are a different, like, like level up movesets in this game. I don't know. I'm really excited. We're going to name you Dodome. After, if you guys have been around for so long, you will get the reference. So, um, if you get the reference, make sure you comment down below. And... Because I respond to every single comment, and I would like to see who actually gets the reference. But this is actually... I'm sad now. I'm sad now. We could have had a Lavatar! Oh my god! I mean, don't get me wrong, Dodon, but... Tyranitz, actually, that's probably the third Dark type. Um, That wouldn't be as beneficial as one would think. Why are we even down here? I don't know. But I'm going to check all these rocks. I don't think we have any more repels. I could double check. Um, oh no, we have three repels. Okay, well, spray the repel. Nothing on that rock. Nothing on that rock. Uh, what? What? Um... Am I just being stupid? But I swear that was... Do we just... Okay. Uh... Well, that's something. I, I feel like that's gonna be, like, a major part later down the line. But the big question is now, where do we actually go? Um... I don't know. We don't have Surf, and can you please stop running into Pokemon? Well, either way, I'm going to need to grind up this Geodude, and, um, or the Dome, and I'll have it on the team by next episode, hopefully next episode. I mean, Oracle's great and all, but without the Moonstone, Clefairy by itself isn't really much. Uh, Redwood City, okay. Yeah, I don't know where to go. Um... I guess in between episodes, I will go and find out where we actually need to go. Because Actually, is it over here? This looks important. Redwood City Church. Oh, that's where we got Spiritomb. Uh, it's been a while since I've recorded. But either way, let's heal up, go check out the dome, and then um, end off the episode. So, hopefully he's an adamant nature or like something like that. Let's go... Summary first. If he's timid, I'm going to hate everything. He's naive. Don't really know what that is, so he should be alright. Um, Tackle defense call, mud shot, and rock throw. So we finally have something to take care of. Like, oh no, we, we had... Uh, yeah, well, let's put him on the team. Okay. Oracle, if we ever need you, you're still in the PC. Waggling your finger around. And I'm going to end the episode off here, guys. So... I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure you smash the like button down below so I'll support the channel and the series. We're going for 10 likes every episode, like I've been saying, so let's see if we can do it. For much more, if you haven't, link will be in the description below. And yeah, don't really have much else to say. This has been a Rodiad. Catch you guys later. Peace.